Hey everybody, it's Roach, and we're back with some more What Remains of Edith Finch. We covered a little bit in the first episode, so if you didn't see it, please go catch up. I'll put a link in the corner for you. We're in Barb's room. We just found out about her creepy past with that really cool comic book. Um, oh, how do you explain that? A flashback? Yeah, we'll go with flashback. And it's got that gross ear on the back of it. It was pretty cool, though. Hey, I didn't realize we could see ourselves. What's around our neck? Oh, is it the key? It looks like there's a ring as well. That's weird. Okay, we've got quite a, a lot of people to get through. Don't think we can go through this door. No. Is there another way through here? There's loads of passages. I think we're just going to have to go back through here. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Why would you keep the music box? It's a bit strange. It's darker than I remember. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. The famous one. We being this way. It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Is a bit weird. Are we meant to go down there now? Or I guess we are. Oh, walk so slow. Ooh, can we interact? A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Oh yeah, he's the one that went missing. It is kind of creepy here. Why would we go down here after the monsters? Just imagine that those friggin' monsters were here. And I guess ate Barbara. Like, where did they go? How could you still live here? Are we worried about them coming back? And this is where Sven chopped his hand. Well, I don't think he chopped it off. He just cut it bad. Right Mom there. said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. So, have she, has she ever been down here? She I saw Edie have. sneak down to the basement once. Carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Oh, this is where that dude was hiding. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. What? It's a friggin' bunker? I guess I would build one too after the monster is coming. Ooh, this is... Oh, there you go. There's some lights on. I remember asking Mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Whoa. Cereal? Is this all still edible? If there's a pattern in all these stories... I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. So he just, like, lived down here. Makes sense why he ran away after he just hid under the bed while his sister got eaten. Is that a train? Yeah, it's a train. Walter. Oh, is that him? Yeah, it must be him. 52 to 2005. Was that friggin' radio? Oh, it's there. Oh, we can't turn it off. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. 30 years? Shit. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive the week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. 
That's what kept me sane. Having a Those schedule, peaches. living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Yo, oh, look, his hands are open now. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just stopped. How oh, the shaking stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave. Well, I mm. still can. Oh, we can't go that way. Oh, there's a trap door. I mean, he would have had to go outside to get his packages. And he would have seen Edie bringing them, maybe. Heck. Oh, that's stuck. I know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. Oh yeah, something ate Molly and as Calvin. well. Calvin. No, he flew into the sea. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day, even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. Oh, look, we just climbed through there. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Um, how do you know you've only got a year? Oh, he doesn't know. For a single week, I'd be happy with one new day. Oh, his eyes would fit out. Oh, that's kind of sad. You friggin' just gets run over the first day he gets out. Kind of dark. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. What's this? Oh. Guess it's something to look at. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Ugh. Go down. Mm. Jesus. Mm. All the friggin' food and books and everything is just still down here. There's so much cereal. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house... What else didn't she tell you about? I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Why was she hiding so much? Obviously trying to protect her. I don't her, want to but... make the same mistakes she made. So this is where he threw all his rubbish, I'm guessing. Doesn't seem like a lot for 30 years worth. Unless that's a deep hole. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <gasps> Oh, 
You need to be careful you don't get hit by the same now train. there's only one of us left. Or maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. It was Milton. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Because I knew you got hit by that train. It's sad. Milton might be still alive if you just went missing. Wait, where did the train come from? Oh, so it would have come from there, but... That's weird. Hey, look at those lights over there. I That's don't know nice. if I should even be writing this. <gasps> it's that house. It's got a flashing light on it. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. And the history you're a part of. Guessing we can't just walk out there. No, there's an invisible wall. Though, to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. history of imagination and stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible wait this is where the swing was wasn't it yeah, it's there. It's that weird treehouse. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Yes, yeah, a bit weird. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Ooh, dear, yeah, yeah. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Daisy, Charlie, Lucy, Coco, Zoe, Zerpy, Lurpy, Furpy, Chirpy, Burpy, Derpy, Derpy Jr. Where's Bob? Bob should be here. They forgot Bob. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. It's Molly. Oh my gosh, they got her as the cat. Calvin. That's quite nice, actually. Sven. And Edie. So Edie died. I think is it I think it's 2010 now. Walter. Barbara. Barbara died ages ago. And Molly. And Calvin. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. That's pretty cool, actually. She 
she could see it poking out of the water at low tide. <gasps> We're gonna get a look through the telescope. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Is that it? Well, I guess I just go back up here. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. There's we Milton. never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. Hmm. What is that thing? Oh, is that a crown? Hmm. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. But looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. <gasps> dun dun dun. Sounded like it was gonna break. Did, it, did that just break? Ooh. Oh, I thought it did. Whose room is that? That's what I want to know. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Ooh, this is a nice little porch. Come on, open the door. They were both pretty intense. Into hunting, too, by the looks of it. U.S. Marines. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but... Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Dawn, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm? Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. What? What am I meant to do from here? Come on. What? Oh, take a picture. Perfect. It. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Never forget this weekend, Dad. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? 
Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. So blurry. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. You're right, Dad. Hey. <laughs> That's a keeper. That's a bit weird. Taking a picture of someone while they pee. I'm just saying. I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be Ugh, fine. So Dad. blurry. Come on. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? There's a bird somewhere. Last time I was with my brother. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Oh, now he's going to shoot it. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Dad, I... Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? No. Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you need to be strong. Eh, I mean... Okay. Great shot, Don. <laughs> what an asshole. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Oh. I fall off the cliff. Sorry, Don. Just got to reset the timer. Get up. There you go. Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Ah, uh, nice. Right. Got you, bro. Dad! Uh huh. Lol. See if you're right, bitch. He got you. He possumed. He did the playing dead thing. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Kinda wanted to see if the deer got away. Or the stag. Hey, look a trap bill. I don't think there's anything else in here. It's just, just like a generator or like a air conditioner. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. The baby's room, a weird. What do you call it? Passageway? No. That picture's kind of creepy. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. This is strange. What the? Ooh, this is fun. What am I meant to be doing? Hand over, Gregory. It's time to hold on, sweetie. You should never leave a baby in the bath by itself, Hello? you fool. Ha! Oh. Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. Can I knock these off? Oh, I can. <gasps> More toys. Come here. What is world was like? Come here. Oh, goodness. 
backflip. Yeah, two. Two birds with one frog. Eat. You reminded me so much of Kevin. Woo! Lost in his imagination. There you go, bro. Now you're the right way up. Whoa, what's that? It's a uh, bubble bath. But I worried about a baby being too happy. But I can feel him slipping away. That was pretty cool. Sorry about that, Gravy. I know you did everything you could. No! Maybe if I hadn't called that night. I don't want Gregory to hear this. <sighs> you gotta hit that thing. Gotcha. I wish you could have told us. Oop. About the world he saw. Well, she left the plug out though, to be fair. Why are my hands green? Oh, am I meant to be the frog? Everything. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. Man, I mean, she left the baby in the bath by itself. Oh, here we go. We're swimming down the bug hole. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. How many more have we got to go? Okay, we've got Edie. I think we've got, we've got Edie, Sven. Dawn. Milton. Lewis and Sanjay. Six. Okay, maybe we can save the six for the next episode. I will probably wrap it up in that one. I can't probably... imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... And yet what? Well, I guess we'll find out next time. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And let me know in the comments what you thought of it and how you're enjoying this game. I actually really like it. It's like a... It's a, it's a bit of a chill game got a really cool story to it i think it's really well made if you liked it make sure you hit the thumbs up button and if you want to see the next one make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell that way you'll find out when i upload it see you in the next one Bye -bye.